what I'm seeing when I make these trips um, to Mount Everest, to the glaciers, the east, north, west, and south sides, is something really astonishing. They're just disappearing. They're just vanishing. In fact, I think the, uh, what, what I'll call the, uh, the photo exhibit someday is, you know, Everest's uh, vanishing glaciers. What's really shocking is that, is, is how uh, the, the rapid rate of retreat, you know, over the last, um, 80, 80 years. What's really exciting about this research uh, for me is the, uh, is the peek back into history I get because uh, the record that I come back with relies on having um, my, my record matched against an earlier record. I look at the images, a lot of the mountains that I'm going to I'm familiar with, and then I reoccupy the same exact spot from where the photo was taken take the same picture and then match them together. In my journeys uh, uh, across Tibet in, in documenting glacier retreat, of course I'm interested in the impact it has on, on the local people. And I would say that right now the impact, the, the greater impact is in global warming and how it's affecting their growing seasons, the, the time of their harvest, the time of the, the planting, uh, how the grass grows high on the plateau, uh, things like that. Because, in a, in, in a bit of an, uh, an irony here, as the glaciers are melting, they are providing more water at the moment. Because there is still plenty of water locked up in the ice in these high altitude glaciers. And there will be for many years to come. So uh, the, the local response to melting glaciers is that there's, there's more water now. The response to the increase in the uh, average uh, temperatures is not good. And they do notice that more because fundamentally they are farmers, they live off the land, they know the crop cycles, they know the growing season um, uh, ex exquisitely well. I took this photo down here from uh, in 2008. Uh, it was the same uh, place that a photographer had stood to get this picture in 1921. And what, I, what you look for here is something, the line of the glacier here 1981 on the West Rongbuk Glacier sitting below Mount Everest has now dropped from here to here. It's dropped over 350 vertical feet. And down here it's just as dramatic. Um, again, I'm, I'm standing where a gentleman stood in 1921, Captain Wheeler. His photo shows this rock island exposed to this height. If you come down here to this picture, the glacier used to be here. It's dropped 400 feet further up the glacier, and that's true all the way across from here, all the way up the West Rongbuk Glacier. It's just uh, losing mass vertically, and just, it's not sinking, it's just all going up into the air, this water, or flowing down uh, out um, into rivers and streams.